Lisbon, Portugal. This is the first time my family has ever used Airbnb instead of a hotel. So we got keys. And I'll show you around. Supposedly this is how you open it. Circle C. And uh, the person who owns this place said, when it's the end of the day, put the keys here. And that, this is the place. Number one, let's go for the bedroom. This is the only bedroom. In here, uh, right now we haven't unpacked yet. We just arrived here at like 20 minutes ago. And yeah, so I'm exploring at the same time. There. If you come right here, and if you look there, there is a candle light, and I love candle lights. And uh, the the roof is small, literally. Uh, okay. And the view right now is a construction working place, and that's and some paintings, abstract paintings. Obviously the bed. I'm pretty sure I'm feeling like I'm in the hotel right now. The bathroom. Hello. <sighs> Bathtub, I can report. Toilet with three rolls of, well, toilet paper. <laughs> Only three rolls, I really no, don't. I think I'll survive this. And the last room, the kitchen living room, because behind you is the kitchen. Which isn't bad. There's a stove, there's a furnace, there's wooden planks, I mean plates, an oven. I love ovens. A washing machine. I didn't even know that it existed right now. Oh no. Utensils places. Places for utensils. Like, oh, they already gave us pots of pants. And I don't know what this is for. Wardrobes. A fridge. The two-layer kind. I love two layers. And now for the living room part. Okay. Another very flat wall. Here, the view. Is... I don't know what that is yet, but I'll probably find that soon enough. And graffiti painted roofs. And cool looking buildings and a plane that just went by. You probably saw it. And what noises. The living room. So that's it. I'm gonna lie here and figure out how to turn on that TV. And until then. Bye-bye.